guys Fulton here and in this video it's a different type of video in today's video I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to build a PC step by step that looks just like this it looks pretty good um it, this PC is actually for my brother so here we go we're gonna get into what parts we use for this uh, for the case we use the game X Rockstar 2 it's a pretty nice case all the panels light up pretty nice you see the white spots those light up and it makes the just PC look good all around. It's really, actually really nice. And for the, you know, power supply, we use the Evga 750 watt. That one is just going to power everything, you know, lame -o, lame -o. And then the CPU cooler right here, we just used a $20 CPU cooler. Nothing crazy, but it lights up, which makes it even better. And, you know, we ha always have to go with SSD. And we got the Samsung 870 Evo 500 gigabytes. So that's going to make his PC Usain Bolt fast. And for this, we're using this bad boy, the Rogue Strix B450F Gaming II, and I think that means two. But um, yeah. And then back to the RAM, we're gonna be using this, the Vengeance LED. Guys, this RAM, they don't even make these anymore, so it's actually pretty insane. So here's me opening up the motherboard. So the first thing you want to do, you know, just get your case open and open up that motherboard, undo the packaging. So here's me, um, you know, looking pretty nice. Got some nice strong forearms. You can see the veins popping out. Um, yeah, I'm wearing gloves, by the way, just because, you know, you don't have to wear gloves, but I'm doing it because I naturally have sweaty hands, and I really don't want my hands touching on the motherboard and stuff like that, which could possibly short the motherboard and make it nice. But again, look at those forearms. Oh my gosh, I actually do have good veins. I'm not even gonna lie, not even joking. Um, but look at that motherboard. I take it out. That thing is looking sexy. It's holographic or whatever that means. And it actually has a built-in I.O. shield as you can see right there. So once you get that motherboard out, you want to screw it in just like that into the case. Get those screws in there. And um, I advise to use a magnetic screwdriver. It makes it so much better, so much easier because the screws will sometimes just fall in there and you have to like get it out, which kind of sucks. So here's me just making sure everything's secure, nice and good. And then, yeah, look at that motherboard. Oh, my goodness. And I actually had to take out one of the fans to fit the motherboard in there because it's pretty thick. Cause he so here's me just plugging back in the fan, so nothing too serious. Um, so after you do that, you know, just look at that motherboard. Goodness, so nice. But, you know, after that, we're going to plug in the RAM, you know, just plug it in. Um, when you have two RAM, you have to make sure it's not in the same you know right next to each other you got to put it in one skip the next one and put it in another one but if you have all four you can just plug all four in there um but i don't know why it's weird i have no idea why you have to skip one but yeah that's just basically how it is and um yeah here's me putting in the other ram in there just make sure it's nice and tight you do have to apply a little bit of pressure for it and sometimes you may have to flip over the ram because you may have it in the wrong spot um that's what i did here um you know, just make sure it's secure, make sure it's tight, because if it is not tight, the uh, the PC will not turn on, and I promise you it won't, because I have done that in the past. And then after you plug in the motherboard, you want to get the power supply. So in this one, like I said, we're using the Evga 750 watts. This, this bad boy can power your entire house. And um, so here's me just taking it out and... Basically, in the uh, the power supply, all these cords connect to the motherboard, which powers the motherboard. So make sure you guys have one that will power everything, because sometimes you might buy one that isn't compatible, and it won't even power everything. So just make sure everything's uh, compatible, which you can go on PCPartPicker.com. I am not sponsored by them in any way. I'm just telling you that's how you can do it. But um, yeah, just undo the wrapping here. Um, I'm having a hard time. You know, I'm using those muscles, though, as you can see. Um yeah so i got that off showed the power supply it's looking pretty slick looking pretty good and you just want to put that in there um just screw it all in and then everything should be good so after you screw it all in you want to get those cables and start plugging them into the power board i mean the motherboard i'm an idiot um so yeah you want to take this big cable and put it in the big cable slot i don't know what it's called i'm not a professional but you know, I'm just your average Joe teaching you, teaching another average Joe how to put a PC together. So you put the big cable into the big slots, and I'm just, I'm just stupid. You know, I having a little bit of hard time to put it in there, but I finally did get it. You know, you're gonna have to apply pressure on this. So you know, just make sure everything's good. And look at that cable management, boys. You know, just tuck it in there. Um, so after that, you want to plug in the CPU thing. It just says CPU. It's in the top left of the motherboard, and that is pretty nice. So after you do that, 
let's get this bad boy out this thing guys please get an ssd don't get a hard drive i made that mistake ssd will save your life that an ssd will make everything so fast and make your life so much easier and then you want to get that cord from the power side power supply and put that baby in and you know you want to make sure that is nice and tight too trust me you want to make sure everything is nice and tight because i did build a pc one time and there was one cord that wasn't plugged all the way in and i spent literally hours trying to figure out what was wrong with it and i was so close to sending it back after you plug that in you want to get the sata cable and then you plug that in so you're going to have two cables plugged into your ssd and after <laughs> After that, everything should be good to go. Your fans should light up. Your CPU, like, because after you plug in that SSD, the CPU automatically jumps in the, the PC and applies thermal paste to itself, and everything should be lit up. So that's it, boys. Um, you know, that's probably the end of the video. Um, look at that PC, though. After, Trust me, guys. After that SSD is plugged in, everything automatically goes into itself. So everything builds itself. So, you know, honestly, PC building takes about five minutes you know I, I took five minutes out of my day just to show you guys this so please leave a like if you did enjoy but look at that all the fans are working everything is going good and oh i also forgot the graphics card which will be coming soon um but yeah look at that at nighttime look at that bad boy let's just take a minute just to just to relax and look at that all right back to the video this is the end um, you know, I'm Fulton. If you did like and enjoy, please subscribe and leave a thumbs up. I'm Fulton and I'm out.